The two members of parliament were kicked out of the house a few days after interrupting the president's State of the Nation address. They then launched an urgent application on the basis that the speaker lacked the power to suspend them. In opposition, the speaker contended that the unprecedented nature of the disruption and the prospect of further disruptions gave rise to a situation not foreseen in the rules, thus entitling him to evoke the rules to suspend. A bench of three Supreme Court judges, including Chief Justice Peter Hivute, have now found that the suspensions were done outside of the Speaker's power and were thus done unlawfully. The High Court judgment has now been overruled and the Speaker ordered to pay costs. The LPM at a media conference welcomed the ruling saying there are a number of motions they wish to table for deliberations. I am particularly pleased by the reading of it. I want to read one part of it. The decision of the respondent to suspend the appellants indefinitely, as set out in the letter dated 19 April 2021, is declared, I love this, I love this, is declared unlawful and a nullity, in other words, it's a zero, and is set aside. It therefore means that whoever wrote this thing did so unlawfully. Advocate Patrick Kauta represented the LPM while Sisana Manje stood in for Professor Peter Kachavivi, Daniel Nadunyan, BC News, Venthook.